Hi, I'm Adrian and I will show you how to make uh, particle morphing from one object to other with uh, particle flow and the script operator. So let's start. Uh, create some uh, objects. Uh, we'll use uh, in this tutorial uh, three objects. Uh, let's make a teapot and uh, the um, uh, torus knot and uh, a hydra. Okay, set it to star. Okay, it should be it should be more complex. Now uh, create a particle source. Open the particle view. Now uh, we will need uh, uh, basically uh, three types of events. So first event w will be the, let's say, uh, master particles or dynamic particles. Uh, let's name this. Uh, dynamics. Okay, and uh, we uh, our uh, events will be uh, the uh, morph targets, which will save their uh, object uh, particle position based on the uh, object with uh, position object operator. So for now, let's uh, let's make this event. So delete the speed operator. We don't need it rotation and shape we'll need only for um, rendering okay so replace uh, position uh, icon with uh, position object I will use the teapot for the starting object and um, let's set uh, the birth to uh, from 0 to 0 with uh, 200, uh, 200 par particles. Okay, now uh, add a script operator and uh, uh, press edit script. Now uh, this is the default script uh, that we don't need this functionality for now. So let's delete the uh, this piece of code on this. So uh, in uh, there are uh, four methods but we will use only three of them. So b basically uh, this method uh, in this method uh, we will uh, enable which channels we want to use and uh, the init method will uh, define our variables and uh, on proceed uh, method will uh, define our uh, uh, physics and uh, save position instructions. So um, let's start. Uh, this is the um, dynamics particles. So here will be all the physics and the uh, motion of particles. Uh, so let's start. <coughs> We need uh, to have uh, a global array of positions where we will save uh, morph targets and uh, this will be used in physics. So uh, we'll call it uh, G array. So always call your variable names uh, in an, uh, with an unusual uh, names so that you don't overwrite or uh, uh, some constants or methods in 3ds max so we'll use GRA so uh, to see if uh, GRA is uh, undefined we'll write here ma max listener GRA uh, now uh, I have some I don't have any values uh, it's undefined so it's good, it's free to use. 
so let's uh, type global which will be a global variable uh, equals uh, an array with no elements so we need uh, uh, some constants for uh, spring physics so let's call it local k the k constant for uh, physics will be uh, 0 0.001 I made some tests and fi uh, found its values to be mm, the values which vet uh, uh, we want to use. So, local mass. This uh, will be particle mass. So, uh, mass may be uh, in uh, uh, mass script. So, let's put a p as prefix. So equals uh, three a hundred. Okay. Now here in um, now uh, uh, we need to make uh, one more test. So we don't uh, uh, recreate these variables all the time. So we we will check uh, check if uh, GRA is already defined. We will uh, will not define it again. If not will define it so if gr equals undefined okay from here undefined then set this variables okay now here in uh, our purchase uh, account we um, get number of uh, the number of particles and uh, their IDs goes from one to number of particles so uh, we make a loop from one to particle count to uh, we set the co current selection to uh, the particle ID from the loop E so we can now uh, use the uh, physics uh, spring physics uh, formula so it is like force equals minus k multiplied by uh, delta position so uh, delta position will will be uh, the difference between uh, end position and current position uh, a k is our uh, sp a spring constant so minus k is not working correctly so uh, it needs a positive value here so we'll use k only uh, acceleration is um, force divided by mass so we'll use this formula formulas to make our our particle physics so let's uh, name uh, let's create a, a variable force equals uh, k multiplied by now for delta position we'll use gra our uh, uh, current uh, morphing value uh, of index e uh, minus um, uh, current particle position so Pical dot particle particle position. You may ask where I know these values. Uh, there are from uh, there are from here. With, uh, this is a little help with uh, different properties and methods of uh, script operator. So particle position, speed, acceleration. We'll need acceleration. So. Picon dot particle acceleration will be uh, force divided by p mass by mass. Okay, particle mass. Now uh, we need to apply uh, those physics after uh, after first fra uh, first frame uh, frame zero because uh, we need to write gr values from uh, from our morph 